What's up guys, I'm Rasim from RossmerTech.com and this is another tutorial in Java programming. Now in this class I'm going to show you guys how to use the increment and decrement operators. So let's get started. Now there are two types of increment and two types of decrement operators. Now the first type we're going to learn is called precrement. Now let's start off by declaring some variables first. I'm going to declare an integer and I want to call this a variable red and I want to make this one equal to the value of 5. We've got to end it with a semicolon. Now I'm going to declare another integer and I'm going to call this one blue. I'm going to give this a value of 5 plus our variable red, right? And it with a semicolon. So our new variable blue equals 5 plus our variable red. So 5 plus 5 sh should print out 10. So let's print it out on the screen. I'm going to use the system.out.println. So it's type in capital S, Y, S, T, E, M, dot out, dot print, L, N, open and close parentheses, end it with a semicolon, right? Now let's print the value of blue. So let's type in blue in between this open and close parentheses. Let's hit play. Now it printed out 10, right? Because the value of blue equals 5 plus the variable red. The variable red has a value of 5, so 5 plus 5 is 10. So that's why we got that answer. But now, uh, let's say we want to increment the variable. Let's use the precrement. The precrement, we, we add two plus symbols in front of the variable. Now the precrement, what it's going to do, it's going to first increment the variable by 1 then it's going to evaluate the rest of the statement here. So once I hit play here, we got a, a value of 11. Now the reason we got the value of 11 is because again, first it uh, increments the variable red by one. So now variable red has a value of six, right? Then it does the five plus the variable. So that's why we got the 11. So now let's try the other one. Let's try postcrement. Postcrement, what we do is we delete these plus symbols here. And we're going to put it in the other end of the variable on this side here, on the right side. So this is called postcrement. First, it, what's going to happen is uh, it's going to do the, the statement outside the increment. So it's going to do 5 plus the variable red, which is which has a value of 5. So it's, the results should be 10. Then it's going to increment. So let's hit play here. And I got a value of 10 here. The reason I got a value of 10, again, is... Now the first thing it did is the five plus the variable red. The variable red had a value of five. It hasn't incremented yet. Once that once the variable uh, once that happens, then it's going to increment the variable red. So, but uh, the uh, variable blue should not be affected, right? Because the variable red uh, value was changed, not the variable blue's value. So that's why we, we got we printed out ten. But if I print out the value of red, it should uh, print out six because it's still going to increment the value of red afterwards. So let's type in variable red here and hit play. We got a six again, because what it did first was, uh, since it's, it's a postcrement, it does whatever's outside of uh, the increment, whatever statements outside the increment, then it adds the variable, then it increments. But, uh, but that's too late for the value of blue to be affected, right? The only thing affected is value red. But if we precremented, the value blue is affected. I'll show you why. Let's Let's precrement again. That means the plus symbols are front of the red on the left side, two plus symbols. So if we precrement, that blue value is going to be affected. The reason the blue value is going to be affected is because it increments first. So it takes the, the variable red, right, it increments it by one. So now variable red has a value of six, then it adds five to that variable. So that's why blue had a, a value of 11, right? So let's try decrement now. Decrement, so this is the pre-decrement, so you use two minus symbols, right? Now the first thing it's going to do is it's going to decrement the variable first, then it's going to do the 5 plus the variable. So let's hit play here, and we got to, now actually we got to replace this with, uh, as you can see, it decremented. So now the value of red is 4, but let's add blue here. Let's see what happened to blue. Let's add blue to this uh, open and close parentheses here. So now I'm going to hit play. Now we got a value of nine. Again, we got the value of nine because it decremented the variable uh, red first. So now variable red has a value of four instead of five. Then it, uh, so it's five plus four, which is nine. So that's why variable blue has a value of nine. So now let's try the other decrement. This one's called post decrement. Again, it's almost the same, but the two minus symbols on, are on the other side, on the right side. And what's gonna happen first, it's gonna, it's not going to decrement. It's going to do the 5 plus the variable. So it should do 5 plus 5. Then it's going to decrement the variable. But the variable blue will not be affected because it, uh, the variable uh, red gets, increment, uh, gets decremented afterwards. So let's hit play. 
And as you can see, it did five plus five because uh, the the decrement didn't happen yet because it, it didn't decrement first. It, it evaluated the statement first, then it decremented red. But uh, as you can see, variable uh, blue has, still has a value of 10. But if I, I change this to red here, and let's see what the value of red is. Let's delete this one here. Let's hit play. As you can see, the value of red is still 4 because it's still decremented. The, the, the blue wasn't affected with the post decrement because it evaluated this statement first, then it decremented. But the only value that was affected was red. But when we pre decremented, it, it uh, decremented the, the, the variable first, then the statement was evaluated. So that's why uh, blue was affected when we uh, pre decremented and when we pre incremented. So now, if you guys just want to decrement and increment without any uh, statement, you, you can easily do that. Uh, they work, they both work. So let's just delete this here first and let's print out the value of, of red. But first, let's say uh, we were going to use the pre increment. So let's type in the two plus symbols and our variable red. And it should uh, print out our variable red and the value should be six because it incremented, right? So let's hit play. I forgot to end this with a semicolon. That's why we got this error message here. So let's add a semicolon. So let's hit play again. So that's why you printed out six here, right? Because it's incrementing. We can use the post increment as well, and it's still going to increment. So I'm going to hit play here, and it's still printed out six. If we just want to increment, we can do both. But if we wanted to uh, add that in a, in a, in a uh, statement, then uh, you know whichever one you pick is going to either evaluate the statement first or it's going to increment first. It depends on which one you use. And it's the same for the pre-decrement and the post-decrement. So yeah, that's pretty much it. If you guys like this video, please give me a like. If you want more videos like this, please subscribe to my channel. I'm Rasim from AwesomeTech.com, and thanks for watching.